Sorry. So we are at. And we just got here. We're waiting on our guest. It's gonna be a surprise. But Kristen, I want to hear your thoughts so far. What do you think? Um, coming in, it smells really, really good. Parking. For this side of the restaurant, the parking is way too narrow. Um, yeah. However, seating is very ample. The service is really, really nice. And the menu looks great. And I can't wait to try it. So, Hershey. Hello. Sorry, I'm kidding. Okay. What do you think, Hershey, so far? Um, I agree with KB. Uh, the parking is limited. So, I'm going to suggest that if you come here, carpool or get here early. Um, parking is very limited and they're a little aggressive for a parking spot. But again, um, the seating here is plentiful. Um, we were able to be seated right away. We do have some room. Um, yeah, the boots are very roomy. Mm -hmm. um, so overall, the inside decorum I like. Um, it's just the parking that's the issue, but I would suggest carpool. That's it. Delicious. Yum. So I have the Fatouche cocktail, which consists of, let's see. Get this little Orange, strawberry, banana milk, and pomegranate. And I got the Jamaican cocktail, and it has pineapple, orange, and pomegranate, and I added strawberry. Mm -hmm. And Kristen got the strawberry mango, which looks delicious. That's very fresh. Mm -hmm. um, I would like it a little bit colder. I think I was expecting more of a slushy mm -hmm. type drink. But this is really, really good. It's a, yeah, I think I'll put mine in the fridge. I'm going to ask them to take it mm -hmm. and I'll put the it in the Yeah, I really like this. Really good. What you think? It's really good. So I think it's I think it can be a little colder because it's, it's like kind of it's not room temperature, but I think it can be a little more chill. But it's really good. It's sweet. You can definitely tell it's freshly made. Definitely, I would recommend. It. So I have here the Fatouche smoothie. Um, take a little taste test. Hold on. Ooh, okay. So. Here's what I like about it. Um, I can tell it's fresh. I can taste the flavors. I can taste the strawberry. I can taste the mango, um, the cream. My only critique is that I would like it colder. Other than that, it's really good. Um, it's a virgin drink, so non-alcoholic. But if you were to make an alcoholic beverage, um, rum would be awesome with it. Vodka would be awesome with it. Um, I would even say tequila with some ice, make like a daiquiri or something, or um, a margarita. It would be delicious, but uh, it's pretty good. It's not hot spicy, but it's hot temperature-wise. Yeah. Very well seasoned. Um, you can tell they use fresh ingredients. It's my first time trying it, and I really enjoy it. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Now let me get a little bit of this. I'm going to try. I've had falafel before. So. Mm. It's good. Um. 
It's her channel outside. What I like about it is that the chickpeas are they're smooth. They're blended well together. Sometimes you get falafel and the chickpeas are very brainy, but they didn't blend it well together. But these are really like smooth and soft. So Raquel just arrived. She's our special guest. Hey. And she's never had Mediterranean food. So obviously she hasn't been here. What are you thinking of the menu so far? Is it confusing for you? It is. Okay. So if you haven't had Mediterranean food, that it could be confusing. What are you looking at so far that you think looks appealing? Lamb chops. Safe choice. <laughs> Chicken is safe too. Chicken, yeah. They have gyro meat, but they call it something else. Okay. So, yeah. But I'm not afraid to try anything new, so. Okay, y'all heard her. She ain't afraid to try nothing new. Look. Kristen, do you want to have a reaction again? <laughs> <laughs> it's a potato type of soup. It's not lentil. But it has like a gritty aftertaste. I just thought I don't like it. It's just... That gritty part kind of throws me off afterwards. Mm. But it's, don't get me wrong, it's good though. Okay. It's good. Thank you. Um, so it's good, but I would like it hot enough. Mm. It's not hot enough for me. I like soup really, really hot. This is a temperature problem. Um, it's warm, but it can be a little bit, it can be hotter. It's okay, it's good though, it's good. Yeah. You've eaten salad, I have your own meal salad. This is called Mathawama. It's mashed potatoes and garlic with- It doesn't look like mashed potatoes. It looks like yogurt though. Yeah, it looks like sour cream. Um, Yeah, mm -hmm. I thought I ordered a salad too. I guess. Did I order a salad too? Or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought you did. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Taste wise, it's cold. Bye. And it has some, like a type of like lemon dill. So it's, it's good and it has garlic. I like it. I just wasn't expecting it to be cold. Okay, we have Nikki Devereaux taste testing the salad. Mm. Give us your thoughts. I don't like the dressing. I don't like the... Mm. It tastes like they chopped up fresh mint and just put it on top. It doesn't taste like it's blended even. It's just like put on top of there. And the deal is overpowering. To, it's like, it's too much. It's overpowering to me. Um... I, yeah, I think they should have put the dressing on the side because not everybody eats that type of dressing. Or they, yeah, like they didn't even ask for it. I guess we should have known then that it, we didn't get a choice. You get what you get. <laughs> but you know, it's like a regular like salad, like a Italian dressing maybe. But mm -hmm. yeah, I mm -hmm. no. wah, wah, wah. Next time I serve as like a repast, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> no, not this. But I'm gonna pre-dress all the salad. So this lettuce gonna be wilted. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> that body. Yep. Sister Reese would not approve. <laughs> I'm gonna just make sure that I'm, I'm gonna pre-dress it all. What's a thousand island? <laughs> so you gonna get the nastiest dress. <laughs> <laughs> Not, not, not Caesar, not even Italian. <laughs> you gonna get a thousand <laughs> Hellman's, a thousand Island. And there's three, three random people that eat that dress of mine. It's good on a uh, cheeseburger. It is good on a cheeseburger. Is it on a Big Mac? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That's what's on but I don't want it on no, no uh, death salad. I'm gonna picture on the morn. That ain't how I want a morn. I'm Yes. She trying to kill me? It's just too strong. Yeah. That tomato looks good though. It does. It, 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 it has. It tastes like everything is fresh and just chopped up and it's thrown on top. Which I think they did. I mean, I can see it. Mm -hmm. The tomato does look good though. Tomato looks good. Like on camera, the, the salad looks like it's banging. Like it's got all of the oils and. Mm. 
Like it's just dragged through the garden to eat them. The tomatoes are good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what in the Lake Michigan is going on here? Flint. Come on, Flint. I, so, mm. you can rotate it too. Oh, oh, that one's supposed to be on camera. I bet. Oh, the wig. Well, I'm a real listen. What? I'm not shamed. This is a wig. <laughs> we should have glued it down. We should have. But you know what? This uh comb ain't securing. But it has a comb there, right? It does, but my edges start, you know, further than normal. Um <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Also, can I have a fork? Thanks. Can I have a fork? Fork? Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's good. It's seasoned really well. It's got like a... It's been on a grill. It's kind of like um. It's like it would if it was on a barbecue grill. Okay. It's really good flavor. Um... This has a little this um, red sauce and forgive me I forgot the name of the sauce tahini sauce um, has a little bit of a spice and kick but it's not overpowering um, and I like it with a little, with the bite of the raw onion it gives it a little snap it's pretty good I like it okay and Raquel got lamb chops what do you think. It's really good. It has good flavoring. It's tender. And I do like the sauce to my lady. Okay. It has a nice little kick. Okay. So everybody likes the spicy sauce. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Okay. And Kristen? So I got the jumbo shrimp. Um, it's they do? Yeah, pretty, pretty big. Um, they come there. I guess they're supposed to come on skewers, but they took the skewers off. Um, but the shrimp is a really nice size. I would prefer the tails to be off, but that's just me. Um, Mm -hmm. Also, is everybody's temperatures good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's very well seasoned. The tahini adds a little kick to it. It's not overly spicy. Um, however, <laughs> if you are spice sensitive, I wouldn't recommend getting it. Mm. But I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Getting the shrimp in general or the sauce? <laughs> the so you can get your shrimp three ways. Um, you can get a fire grill. I think fire roast to the fire grill, grill, and then scampi. I'm sorry, fry, and then scampi. Mine being fire grill, it has like an extra spice to it, and it's really, really good. Um, the rice is cool. Um, not really, the rice isn't really flavorful, but it's, it's decent. It cuts really well, so it's definitely not tough. What do you think? Really good. They're seasoned really well. Mm -hmm. They got a good amount of seasoning. They're not overcooked. Really tender. And they give you five of them. Mm. So you get a good amount. Nice. 
they give you a ton of rice actually a little bit too much it's a lot of rice mm -hmm. but it's good and then they give you they give you this as well so yeah i i like to eat a lot i think somewhere like this especially to me most of the mediterranean restaurants i think i go there more so i go there mostly for like the meat as opposed to like the side dishes that's what I always think that the meat is the best part. That's like the highlight. Mm -hmm. And then the side dishes are just there. Yeah, because that's what you're paying for is the quality of the meat. Yeah. Especially lamb chop. That's not a cheap, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And this entree was $25. And I think that's a good price mm -hmm. for, amount, for know, the amount of food. See that? Yeah. For the amount of food that you're getting. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Hello. Hey. We are four girls and a fork, and we just got through reviewing Fatouche. 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 Ladies, what do you think? We'll start with you, KB. I liked it. Um, it's actually. Start over. No, because I. Mm -mm. We got. We can. We can cut, cut it because I'm trying to. Okay, so atmosphere-wise, the restaurant is really big. Mm -hmm. It's kind of split into two sides. Um, when you first walk in, there's a left and a right. The left side is more, I guess, like family tables because mm -hmm. they're a little bit longer. The mm -hmm. right side is shorter booths, longer tables, so you can do like a party of two or if you want to do like a, a family of ten, it'll fit you comfortably. The staff was super, super nice. Mm -hmm. um, they were very accommodating. Cute. Mm -hmm. they, they were. They were. Mm -hmm. um, very accommodating. I, you know, checked on us, asked you know what we wanted. If there was something on the menu that we didn't necessarily understand due to, not necessarily a line, but like, you know, certain stuff you don't know. Mm -hmm. um, they were very, it, it, he, he explained it perfectly, like, oh, you know, it's this and, you know, mixed with that or whatnot. So that I do appreciate, you know, they didn't look like you were crazy. Um, they were very helpful, very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Food wise, food was excellent. The falafel, which was my first time having it very well seasoned as we mentioned earlier kind of tasted like cornbread dressing along those lines um to me it tastes better with the dipping sauce added to it the hummus was cool um i've had hummus before that was really good they mixed theirs with like an olive oil and for my entree i had the grilled jumbo shrimp um it was shrimp on like a skewer that they you know grilled so i had like a little char on it you get a choice of red rice, dill rice, and vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, I chose rice. They give you a lot of rice. So if you're looking to be like a low carb keto, I would suggest going with the vegetables because they give you like goo gobs of rice. Um, but everything was well seasoned. Everything was great. Um, they don't serve alcohol. Just a heads up. So if you're looking to drink, you might want to sneak your own little flask in. <laughs> but overall, I, I really enjoyed it. Sounds delicious. Um, I'll go ahead with mine. Um, so what I appreciate, first of all, again, and I think we stated it earlier, but it is limited parking spaces available um, at the restaurant. So I would suggest carpooling. Um, well, thank you. <laughs> I would suggest carpooling or getting here early before the dinner time rush. Um, the staff was amazing, greeted us. Like KB mentioned, explain the menu. Um, it was um, easy for us to, you know, ask them questions. It wasn't a negative feedback or anything like that. Uh, the restaurant decor and the atmosphere was great. We had room in the booth. Um, it was comfortable. I felt very comfortable. Um, at the noise level, I would say is kind of medium. You know, there was some talking, there was some music playing, but overall, um, a comfortable atmosphere. The food was good, okay? It was really good. Now, I've had Mediterranean food before, um, but um, I agree with KB. The falafel was amazing. Kind of gave you a dressing type of mm, taste in your mouth. Um, the dipping sauce was good. Um, I also had uh, the lentil soup, which was good. Would have liked it uh, heated up a little bit more. I want it to be, you know, I, I want to burn the roof of my tongue. Or the roof of my mouth a little bit. I want it to be hot. Otherwise, it was good. Um, salad was good. And I had the shish kebab. She actually liked the salad. I did like the salad. It, but see, I like sour. 
Okay. Like um, and it had that mint. You like a herbal taste. I like mm -hmm. a herbal taste. Okay. Yeah, it was good to me. Liang Liang, <laughs> little <laughs> Liang Liang, little herb. <laughs> I wanted like a little herb too. Um, and I had the shish kebab, which, which was with lamb. It was really good. I didn't get the rice because I'm trying to, you know, you know, get this girlish figure together. You know, get my my waistline visible but um i did order the um like i said earlier the salad which was good um if you want it with rice they have the um what was the two rices that red you got the rice. red rice and dill you could order that i preferred the salad or you could have gotten mixed vegetables mm -hmm. um and i really did like the uh tahini sauce mm -hmm. that red spicy sauce i like that a lot too so i was very pleased with my meal Okay, so I got the lamb chops. So as I showed in there, you get five lamb chops. They are really good, tender, seasoned well. Um, I guess I'll just go down the list. Staff was super nice, friendly. They were accommodating. They even gave us some free tea at the end. Oh yeah, good. I forgot about and that, that. Tea, yeah. that. Tea was good. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Um, they didn't have any specials that they told us about, but they did help with the menu. Like if you had questions, they did. I didn't see any specials on the menu, so I don't think we missed out on anything in that area. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't see like you know how sometimes you order something and then you find out they had a special going on for a lower price. Mm -hmm. They didn't do that to us, mm -hmm. so it's not anything to complain about there. Uh, the menu, I think the menu could have been a little bit more descriptive. I think that the menu was fine if you knew what was going on. But I think if you didn't know what was going on, I think it would help for like certain things like baba, ganoush, or that sauce that Kristen got with the potatoes. I think they should have described it. Because they didn't. It would have been mm -hmm. nice if they would have put baba ganoush is eggplant. Or whatever that was you got is mashed potatoes with garlic. Because we had to keep asking. Because mm -hmm. we didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. And also tell you that it's cold. Yep. Yeah, I was expecting mm -hmm. a warm plate mash for Yeah, the time on the food was fine because we actually held off. You know, they kept checking in with us, but we were waiting for everybody and trying to figure out what we wanted. So, time-wise, it wasn't bad. Um, decorations are cool. They were really nice. Um, you know, nothing. It's what you expect from a Mediterranean restaurant. And noise level, it could be a little loud, but I think it was really depending on the time because when we first got there, it was more crowded. People were doing birthdays. Later on, it kind of cleared out. It wasn't mm -hmm. as loud. Everybody's order came out correct, I believe. And on yes. time. And okay. on time, yeah. Presentation, everything looked good. Nothing didn't look appealing, even though some of the things are kind of weird because, like, eggplant is a weird thing. I think eggplant could look very unappealing depending on how you make it. It still looked good. Everything tasted good. And I think I paid 25 for my meal. And I also ordered the red snapper for my husband. And I think his was like $22. So overall, I like it. It was a good restaurant. Happy with it. And I could pretty much recommend it for anything, whether it be date night, celebration, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mediterranean. Well, this is my first time trying Mediterranean food. So um, from my experience off back, I can say it was excellent. Um, something different out of my comfort zone um like i said and everyone said the staff was great um they helped us explain what they could to us as far as ordering um i think i was the only one who went to the restroom it was clean um but i feel like um there's a lot of babies in there mm -hmm. so maybe a little diaper smell but you know <laughs> that thing can't handle comes it. with the territory it comes with, exactly, comes with the car territory so so that's my um presentation was good um i think everyone plates had like um charred vegetables to make it look pretty so they had mm. tomatoes onions peppers um i don't know if that was like a flat bread underneath. i think it was oh, I, it was some type of flat bread. Yeah. yeah pita bread it was kind of good to eat with um the meal what i had um what you can do too you can choose your own well make create your own plate um mm. so i had the filet mignon and the um mm. lamb chops mm -hmm. and they were excellent cooked to perfection tender seasoned really well like everyone said that sauce really gives it a nice kick oh, hey you ain't pay your bill Ooh. girl <laughs> Oh. Okay. Hold that. <laughs> okay, you said that it was cooked to perfection. Sorry. Yes, cooked to perfection. Um, 
it wasn't overdone or anything like that um the soup for our um appetizer <laughs> um it like i said it could have been a little bit warmer um but it had like a what can i what did i say like a potato type of mm -hmm. texture, texture. It, was, it was lentil right mm -hmm. it was lentil soup so it was good as well like it was mission for no alcohol so yes yeah, it make you something in Mm. Um, what else? Pricing was good as well. I that was worth the price of it. How much mm -hmm. did you pay for that? I paid um thirty. Okay, that's not bad. So that's not bad. Mm -hmm. Very reasonable. Mm. Yeah, mine was twenty three. I paid thirty seven. Mm -hmm. And that what they did that I did like they included the tip with um oh, yeah. yeah yeah you know the bill. And we all got smoothies too, so that's why our bills were mm -hmm. higher. Well, in total, mine was with tip and everything included thirty-seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, around mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, Raquel, anything else? I think that's pretty much it. Everything was really good. Yeah, I'll try them again. Yeah, I will come back. What's our collective fork rating out of four forks? I would give it four. I'd give it four. Yeah. I oh. think. This is probably besides Hidden Mana, this may have been the best one that we've been to. Mm -hmm. um, so we're giving it four forks. Four forks. That's good because that's not easy to come by because we are very particular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The pricing, I think, was the only thing that I really like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pricing for uh, the amount of food you get, you get a lot of food. Mm -hmm. I mean, that lamb chop meal, two people could eat off of that. Yep. Because mm -hmm. they also give you, which we didn't add, they also give you pita bread included and mm -hmm. they didn't the pita bread come with like sauce or it came you? with uh okay. hummus yeah uh -huh. yeah, it came with hummus, yeah which was really good too mm -hmm. yeah she liked the hummus i liked it i like everything and there's a buka lounge next door <laughs> for those of you out there too. <laughs> yeah. we didn't um, try it the thing i appreciate everything was fresh mm -hmm. and made to order but you didn't have to wait a long time mm -hmm. um as i mentioned previously the salad um i don't like pre-sauced pre-dressed i like to yeah. do my own thing um i think if they had a giving you that even if they just put like a vinaigrette or about some type of oil on it that would have been fine yeah but give a person the option of what dressing that they like mm -hmm. because not everybody can handle that um mm -hmm. it just it tasted off to me if it didn't have like that minty uh, weirdness to it i i would have been better um mm -hmm. Overall, like everything was crisp, everything was fine, but that that kind of just put me off. And you could tell they were good quality, like the greens. Yeah, the greens were good. excellent. Mm -hmm. Like the the foli foliage and Tomato. shrubbery itself was great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could actually eat without dressing. It yeah, off. I would have ate it plain, but yeah. that um that dressing threw me off. You just threw it off. Hershey liked it though. If you like I, it, yeah. I enjoyed it. I, but see, it's all on your taste because my preference is like I like a good vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. Um, I like mint and I like things that are a bit sour and kind of make me pucker. So that would be good mm -hmm. for me. But I agree with it needs to be, you know, mind your business. Because <laughs> I'm grown on this Friday night, baby. Um, but what I will say is I agree with y'all when it comes to at least give a person an option because mm -hmm. not everybody can handle. It can be overwhelming mm -hmm. on the palate if mm -hmm. you're not expecting it. And if this is your first time, especially, mm -hmm. you're going to want to get that on the side. Yep. So anything else, y'all? Nope. I think that pretty much sums it up. Thank you, Raquel, for joining us. Yes! Yay! Thanks, Raquel! We have enjoyed Raquel. She gave a really good critique. Yes. You are a pleasure, darling, a pleasure. Yeah. And this is also the last episode of the season of Four Girls in a Fork. Yep. Catch us in February for yes. season two. Yes, we'll be taking two. the winter off to get all warm and snuggly and ready mm -hmm. for the next one. Mm -hmm. And we have a couple events coming up, so yes. we have those. We will be sponsoring um, two events in December, so check that out. And again, uh, we'll be interacting with you guys. If you have any suggestions of restaurants for the new year, be sure to hit us up on our email, Facebook, or um, Instagram. Be sure to like, share, and, sus and subscribe. And um, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate y'all and the love and the support we've been getting. All that good stuff. You guys are great. We love y'all. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. And Bye. happy eating. Peace.